This hair is from Janet Collection, and I want to thank them for sponsoring this video and sending me this Ooh, hair. Don't we look good together? There's a reason why they watch on my lawn. Yeah, I know what's your hair's forever. So tonight I'm gonna show you all. What's up, guys? My name is Essence, and welcome to my channel. Let me tell you something. They got us. Okay, they got us. I, I, did I say this already? Okay, they found out, they were scoping us out, and they trapped us. Okay, they got us. They are on to us. They were always on to us. And here's why. We have crochet passion toys, people. Okay, so my hair is already prepared for being crocheted. If I know how I do my pattern on um, braiding up and stuff like that, I have a video on that. So if you want to go see that, go check it out. But my hair is all braided up in the back and I'm actually doing singles in the front because I just came out of another crochet protective style and it's not protected if the edges are stressed. And so what I'm choosing to do is actually attach singles in the front and then braids on the back. That way you guys can see how it attaches to singles. You can see how it attaches to braids and my edges will still love me. Show you the hair and then I'm gonna get my crochet needle and we're gonna do this. So this is what it looks like straight out of the pack. My first impressions of the hair is what I personally liked about Passion Twist to begin with was the fact that the twist itself had its own wave. This is just like a straight Senegalese twist with a curl on the bottom, which is not bad. If you watch one of my videos where I react to other people's passion twist tutorials, a lot of them had their hair just straight down with a curl on the bottom, which is totally fine. It is very loose right up here. If you guys don't already know, I have a passion twist tutorial. I have five things you should know about passion twists, and I have nine reasons why your passion twists are failing. What I don't have is a video on crochet passion twists. Now, I'm not talking about the rubber band method. I'm not talking about the crochet method in any other way. I'm talking about actual crocheted passion twists, pre-passion twisted and ready to attach on the hair. Let's do it right now. doing all of the crochet twists now one thing that I must say is the hair is so light like so light and one thing about it is when you're putting it in um, the loop is a little bit the loop can get a little bit like messy kind of tangly because the hair is so light and so loose so that's just one thing to keep in mind if you are putting this hair in um, yeah but other than that the hair is super light like it's so it's so lightweight. I am not stressed at all about putting it on these twists in terms of the weight. It's gonna be totally fine. I feel like my hair probably weighs more than this hair really. Okay, so here's the loop. The hair's pretty delicate. Delicate is kind of like the best word that I can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it on my mini twist. Now, I think, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough hair. I really, really hope that I will. Um, I left two packs just specifically for the front for the mini twist. So let's just hope this blends properly. That's what I'm really hoping for. So I'm just gonna pin this hair up. And I'm gonna start by attaching it to this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my crochet needle, put it in the base, grabbing it, the hair, and putting it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair and the crochet here through the loop. Okay. It's on. So what I'm gonna try and do is go ahead and conceal my hair in this twist somehow. As I said, the hair is very light. It's very, I don't wanna say fragile, but it's kind of flimsy in a way. So 
um, moving it around too much will definitely um, ruin the pattern here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to snake it through somehow. I'm just gonna actually wrap my hair around. And then when I get down to the end, I will put it through there. It's not super neat, but with practice, I'm sure it'll go right. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing that and I'll check back with you guys when I'm at the front. Okay guys, so I'm back. That took, surprisingly, not long at all. That actually went by very, very fast. Um, to put the whole thing has taken me basically less than an hour. So this is what it looks like. And I have two left here and I'll show you how I attach them. notice is that when I I um, put it through my mini twist there is kind of like a bulb here on the top so it's just something to keep in mind start wrapping it around and the good thing I guess about this texture hair and this type type of twist is that when you wrap your hair around you can't really tell that your hair is wrapped around whereas with other styles you can't really get away with that So you see how it's like, see what happened there? I put my hair through and it just unraveled. All right, so we are done, officially done. And this is the final look. This is how the hair looks. I'll leave all of the information down in the description box in terms of everything that I mentioned before, just in case you forget, as well as where to get the hair. So if you have any questions about crochet hair or about how to do it, any questions about the hair, please leave it down below. I would love to make another video answering all of your questions specifically about this hair, because as you know, this is pretty much the first time that we have an actual crochet passion twist ready to go for you guys. So I wanna answer all of your questions that you may have that maybe I didn't answer in this video. Just to recap, this hair is from Janet Collection. This is their passion twist braid, and this is in the color 1B. Uh, 24 inches. I love the ease of it. I love the like the bohemian kind of vibe that it gives um, Pretty much close to the regular passion twist that you do by hand I'm gonna go ahead and make another video about five things that you should know about crochet passion twist So make sure that you tune in for that video coming right up Anyways guys if you have not subscribed by now make sure that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button And if this video helped you in your passion twist journey give it a thumbs up again guys any questions at all that you have about this hair about this brand about the process Leave it down below and I will respond to you in less than 24 hours. I got you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.